the most controversial Barbie dolls ever made. Totally style and tattoo, Barbie had so many parents outraged. Yeah, so it came with a tattoo gun for you and for her. This one's my favorite. Parents lost it over this specific tattoo that could be placed on Barbie's back. Barbie's latest accessory, a lifetime commitment to Ken, till plastic do us part. No take backsies. I mean, like, I think it's important to teach children about self-expression, but I feel like you can, in fact, be too young to know about tattoos. They're just too permanent. I know I have two and I hate them both, okay? Barbie doll came out that had a video camera on her necklace. A doll with a video camera? It's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, Barbie's a vlogger, which I love for her, kinda like me. It wasn't long before this Barbie doll was discontinued and a whole lot of theories emerged. The scariest theory is that hackers could easily hack into these dolls and get the data and the videos that were taken. Why did that take such a wild turn? This is way too big brother for a children's story. FBI actually released a statement about this too. So this was a serious privacy concern and they were discontinued. So fun fact guys. Well, maybe not fun. Interesting fact. So it turns out that that doll actually helps solve a case of parents mistreating their child and now the parents are in jail. So the only people who had to really worry were the parents. Well, those parents, not most parents. People would like to think most parents are good. This is Palm Beach Sugar Daddy Ken. And yes, this doll's name was actually Palm Beach Sugar Daddy Ken. Okay, Sugar Daddy Ken. Subtle. <laughs> he was created in 2009 as part of an adult collection, but Mattel said that his name was Sugar Daddy Ken because this ridiculously tiny dog name was Sugar and he was Sugar's daddy. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. Basically, Mattel thinks their customers are stupid. That, or like the world is just casually gaslighting us 24 7. The, the dog? But I think we all knew exactly what they were doing and I have to respect it. Six out of five stars. And then Barbie and Tanner the dog came out in 2009. Barbie could feed the dog treats and then the dog would actually poop them out and Barbie had a pooper scooper to pick them up with. But the treats okay. were literally the same as the poop. So Barbie was like feeding the dog poop. What? It just didn't work well. Uh, <laughs> guys, finally, we have a toy that teaches the importance of recycling in the most confusing way possible. This was Midge, the pregnant Barbie. I now I think this doll is kind of cute, but it sparked a massive controversy because parents believe that this doll promoted teen pregnancy to children. I think they're overthinking this. Like, who says she's a teen? Also, I mean, even if she is. The doll came with a removable womb that you could pull okay, a baby from, which looked so creepy. But even worse, she didn't have a wedding ring. <gasps> and parents said this encouraged teen unwed pregnancy. So Midge was re-released with a wedding ring. Wait, 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 wait. So they gave her a wedding ring, but they weren't concerned about that creepy alien in her belly? That didn't bother them. By the way, let me know guys if you've seen the Barbie movie in the comments. I'm gonna see you tomorrow and I'm really excited. Well, actually by the time you see this, I've probably already seen it. In the mid 1960s, but talking about slumber party Barbie, which sounds like it should be wholesome and fun, but then they randomly gave her body dysmorphia. She came with lots of accessories like a hairbrush, mirror, curlers, heels, and a scale that was set permanently to a 110 pounds. What? You could have just given her a teddy bear and a pillow, but you chose the scale. Set to a really unrealistic weight too. Okay. She also came with a book and this book was titled How to Lose Weight and on the inside it said, don't eat. Excuse you? I would like to live, so I would like to eat, okay? <sighs> it's so shocking to see how these harmful ideals were once like normalized. What were you guys thinking? The past? The past? What were you thinking? Come on, the past. I'm not cool with the past sometimes. The past just does me dirty all the time. Does everybody dirty? The, if you want to lose weight, working out is the right choice. The healthy choice. The sustainable choice. Don't listen to Barbie from the past. Barbie from the past is a no sh**. Barbie from the past is stupid, but she's so stylish, but so stupid. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not trying to offend her. Did you know that the original 1959 Barbie was actually very controversial when it first came out? Tell us. The first Barbie ever wore a swimsuit and she had some big knockouts on her chest and more makeup. <laughs> Not the swimsuit. Oh no, she wore a swimsuit. Yes. My eyes, they're burning. It's just a swimsuit. Let her swim. Let her have big knockers if she wants to have a knockers. I mean, technically, it's not up to her. That's how she was born. I mean, technically, that's how she was sculpted. That's how we drew her. Let her live. With her house, several careers, and no husband, this was very progressive for 1959. Yes. America had no choice but to stand. To clarify, not about the no husband thing. I'm all for love. I was saying yes to the fact that, like, she can have whatever job she wants. The past was scary. I wouldn't have been able to make videos for you guys. It just wouldn't be happening. I can't believe that things like that just weren't normal. I mean, like, when you really think about it, we gotta be so grateful for everything that we have. It's really... It's really special. Computer Engineer Barbie was a really cool Computer concept, engineer. but very poorly executed. There was a book that came out with this doll, and the whole premise of it was that Barbie was terrible at computer coding and kept messing everything up and needed Ken to help her fix it. And like, pause to read this. 
hold up. So computer engineer Barbie can't do computer engineer and needs Ken to do it for her? Why even make her a computer engineer at that point? To embarrass her? What'd she do to you? I couldn't be any less inspired. Like literally the Barbie from the 1950s was more progressive than this and this was in 2010. Meet new growing up Skipper. She's two dolls in one. Two dolls? Because when you turn her arm, you can make her change instantly from a little girl to a tall, slender teenage doll. Weird. Which is something you can't do. You can have fun with Skipper when she's little, <laughs> and suddenly you can make her grow up enough to wear her glamorous Just teenage Just stop, stop talking. You're, you're making up it Skipper worse. two dolls in one for two kinds of fun. Growing up, Skipper gets taller when you so turn her arm and comes with these fashion accessories. Why was that so creepy? Did you guys find that creepy? I found that so creepy. So Let's watch more of her. sister named Skipper, and in the 70s, they came out with growing up Skipper. This is Barbie's sister, like a though. puberty doll, and there was a mechanism that could make her grow taller, but her chest would also get bigger. How does that even work? You turn her arm, you can make her change instantly from a little so girl curious, to a tall, slender though. teenage doll. How would that even affect a child's perception of aging and maturity? I feel like it's gonna lead to some misconceptions. Like they're like, why am I not getting older? I keep on moving my arm and stuff. I'm broken. Right in that box, guys, Barbie made their first Down syndrome Barbie, which is so sweet because everybody should feel included. Okay, let's check it out. This is it, Kayla. This is the moment. Let's see. This is the new Barbie fashionista. Oh my gosh! Yay! A lot of people were mad about this Barbie, okay, so Candy, but if it makes the kids happy the and they're happy, then who cares? Absolutely. So you'll Only see thing that the, matters the is their the happiness. The doll itself is a little bit shorter in stature, which is typical for people with Down syndrome. Has smaller features. You see the almond-shaped eyes. You see the bridge of the nose. There is also a crease in the palm. And if you look closely at her neck, she has a three-arrow necklace. So those three arrows symbolize the three sets of chromosomes that people with Down syndrome have. And it also symbolizes rising up and moving forward. Yay! This is the Barbie doll over the years. Because she started off in 1960 and she was based on that doll up there, the Lily doll. Uh, okay, I can see it, I can see it. Ooh, look at Friday night date night. We got some busy morning. Look how fancy they are. What, what, what were they doing in the mornings? Oh, sophisticated lady. I magnificence. Okay, swag. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm gonna have to stop you right there. 1966. Why are you just a steel tube? I have questions, and nobody's gonna give me answers, are they? It's okay. Let me know which is your favorite out of all these. We got twist and turn over here. We got oh, ter terrific, cool, little boat, pink. Honestly, Barbie has so much swag. It's so many different. Ooh, the mood matcher. I want to meet hippie mood matcher. We can get some mood rings up in here. Yellow vested. Best Buy fashion. Okay. Ooh, Star Wars Barbie. Fashion photo and roller skating. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, they're all so beautiful. Oh, and we got an astronaut Barbie up here too. Let's go. We're going everywhere. We're even going to space. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The moon goddess, uh, I need to wear that always. New grocery store outfit. <laughs> no, but I would. I like to embarrass myself. Ooh, but on a serious note, I like them all. I like them all. I like them all. I like the moon goddess. I like, I like Serenade and Saturn. I like Times Square. I like Modern Circle. I like Juicy Couture. Like, I mean, I like them all, but these are my favorites. These are the outfits I'm like, I, I'd wear them. I'd wear those. Wait, does that Barbie have her face in her own dress? I mean, it's not narcissistic when you're Barbie. <laughs> this is so, like, wow. Like the detail, they, there's so much quality and precision going into this. I understand why people want to collect them now. I kind of want them all as well. I mean, it wouldn't be the most irresponsible things I've spent my money on. Teen talk Barbie. People phrases such as, do you want to go shopping? Let's plan our dream wedding. Will we ever have enough clothes? But she also said, math class is tough. The National Council of Teachers of Mathematics came out and criticized this doll for discouraging young girls to learn math. It was discontinued, and to this day, this is one of the rarest Barbies in the world. It's very hard to find. Rarest, yeah, because it's the most relatable. Like I said before, math is hard. That's just math teacher energy right there. 
overthinking a little. The most controversial Barbie dolls that you won't believe existed. This is Barbie's friend, Becky. She's a wheelchair user and she was released in 1997. Wait, how do you mess this up? It seems like a good thing. This was supposed to be an amazing thing because Barbie was finally representing wheelchair users and people with disabilities. So how did this backfire? Because of Becky's wheelchair, she was incompatible with all of the Barbie Dreamhouse accessories and she would not fit in the elevator. This does shine a light on the accessibility issues for people who use wheelchairs. But people were absolutely outraged that Barbie didn't think this through. I'm not a fan of giving people a hard time when they tried to do something good. Because then you're discouraging people from wanting to do things like that. Like, do I think they should be made aware of it? Of course. That way they change it out of like the goodness of their heart, not out of resentment. I don't know. I feel like everybody just like wants to give everybody a hard time. We're back with the Barbie movie doll. It's time to make those changes oh. I was talking about in the last video. Remember I said I didn't like these bangs and I tried to work with them and it wasn't possible, so they had to go. Maybe they look a little... Now that this area is free, I'm going to start re Okay, now that's what I want. Ones. Receding hairline when Barbie. I'm the hair, I'm gonna cut I'll take 10. I'm going to cut the original. Now I'm going to say goodbye to this face. And okay. when that's done, I can start the repaint. I start mapping out her features and then define them with a face has paint. left. I know the I keep chat. saying this, but I'm so happy to finally have a Margot Robbie Barbie. Look story. at all the Margot detail. Margot has such a signature smile and it's perfect for Barbie. Now I do the other side and then I can place the bow correctly. Here's Barbie before and after her changes. So what do we think? They're fine, but the difference between my custom and this new one is like night and day. New one. What do I think? I think that they're just gonna toss the other Barbies out and hire you instead because you crushed that. What, who was? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm stuttering, okay? It was really good and they need to hire this person ASAP. They make Margo look more like Margo than Margo does. Ruth Handler invented Barbie so that young girls would have something to project their dreams and goals onto. Before this, the only other doll was a baby doll where your only option was to be a mother. Boo. So she made a high fashion doll with endless careers ranging from surfer to president. Nothing wrong with being a mother. If there was, none of us would be here. I think it's a beautiful thing, but nobody wants it to be the only option. Like you want to choose and you want to want to be a mom, not like, well, have no other choice. But here she can go out in space and hang out with aliens. You know, maybe she wants some be alien babies, making sure our planet's safe, you know? Barbie dream has his through the ages. I've always wanted the dream house. 1962. Oh, cool. 1979. I don't know why I'm so fascinated 1983. by them. 1983. 1995. 2022. Tell me what's your favorite. I want a slide. Fancy. Maybe I should just get one now with adult money. Fulfill my childhood dreams. Do it for six-year-old me. People were freaking out over this doll. In 1993, Mattel tried to make King cooler by releasing earring Magic Ken. He came with an earring you could wear, but his appearance was Wait. rather flamboyant. Wait, you can wear his necklace on your ear? That's pretty cool. Also, like, why are they acting like being flamboyant isn't awesome? He's now like, called he's so cute. Ken, and they say that the ring on his necklace is a ring for down there. The public it's was an immediately earring. repulsed, and no more gay Kens were sold after 1993. Okay, so the Barbies we all get now. Okay, I mean, I think they, look, they all look amazing. I don't get where we're going with this. Versus the Barbies we got in 20, zero, 27, no, I can't talk, 2009. Um, you know what? Personally, I think the representation now was 100% better, but like I'll admit the Barbies before were better quality, but that's kind of goes with almost everything. I think with mass production, things have become more mass produced and less attention to detail, less handmade. I don't think this is a Barbie issue, more of a consumer issue issue. They're gonna draw a real life Barbie. Let's get it. Okay, so I think this is like one of those like perfect face anatomies. It's supposed to be like the golden ratio, even though there's like no such thing as a perfect face, but it usually ends up looking weird, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> like I, I don't know if anyone actually looks better with perfect face anatomy. It always just looks like uncanny and like something is off. I, I, I don't know. I believe like we're all perfect the way we are, but hey, the only person's opinion that matters is your own, and that's a fact. I was so curious though. Oh, she's uh, her pupils are quite dilated there. It's so satisfying to watch people draw. I'm loving it. So far, it's looking really good. Oh my God, it makes me want to like grab a tablet and just like. They make it look so easy. That's when you know someone's talented. He showed us the whole thing! Come on! So now they're sharpening the image. They're adding shadows, they're adding shadows, <laughs> highlights. Oh, some, some color, some little bit of gloss to the... 
trying to make it loud, but I can't. Okay, Cora's Barbie has to have her iconic pink on. Oh, this is killing me, I just wanna see. Come on Barbie, let's go party. Ooh, don't copyright me, ooh, ooh. Oh, the little cute eyelashes. That was so oddly satisfying. This is like a makeup tutorial. Wait, what's happening? Is that like lichen from a window? Oh, they reveal, they reveal. Come on, you're I'm so impatient. Okay, like that does not look anything near any human I've ever seen. Still looks like animation, but I respect the talent. But nobody actually looks like that. Here we have a dollar store Barbie. Okay, so far nothing weird, except that the skirt looks, it's a little bit made out of wrapping paper. I mean, I don't know what they're saying, but does, does any Barbie have good quality clothing? Wait, okay, so we, we're taking her pony out and, oh man, Barbie has a receding hairline and you know, like leave her alone. She was trying to hide that, why are you exposing the girl? Girlfriend's just trying to live her life and you're just out here being like, ha! Somehow I feel like this Barbie is not official. This is Barbie Hawaiian ice, ice par party, I can't speak. So, I mean, it's kind of weird to, that it looks a little like a cocktail. I guess they gotta start off young. Like, what's happening, Barbie? Why are you why are you so adult themed? When you're literally targeting children, they're in the advertisement. You can't even say it was an accident. Maybe that takes away the taboo of like wanting what you can't have because that's an interesting concept. Do you feel like kids are less or more likely to want to drink if they're pretending to drink? Maybe less because I do feel like we want what we can't have. I don't know. I'm not a parent. That's why I don't have kids. Barbie quiz, getting what you look like. Hangover, um, like that doesn't look like you, just the hair. Hold up, that's a weird way to find out you're pregnant. What is that Barbie quiz trying to say? I mean, I don't, I feel like they're completely random, not actually based on what you look like. Barbie? Barbie? Wait, what? Who made this? Who hurt you? Wait, did this? Barbie hurt you because this this is uh, definitely a Barbie I don't want to ever meet IRL but you know what as creepy as this is look at how well this is done I have a mad respect and appreciation for the art here I don't want what just happened to the last Barbie to happen to me so I'm, I'm gonna say no thanks uh, but you continue doing you okay okay don't insult it because I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, look at all the details. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Jinx from League of Legends. Okay, so this person calls himself the plastic surgeon, which is funny because they're actually all from these Barbies and they're made out of plastic. And holy, that is, that's well done. Baby girl went from Barbie to Bratz doll. I mean, you could have just bought a Bratz doll, but hey. <laughs> okay, so here's more of their work. And apparently it's art that's supposed to reflect like the, our society's obsession with beauty and like physical appearance and like when you're crossing boundaries and when you're not because like everybody deserves the right to feel happy and confident in their body and like nobody should be feel ashamed of that and nobody should be judged for that but there is issues with like how normalized and accessible it has become i don't know it's 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 kind of like a double-edged sword because it's there's so much good and so much danger there because your physical appearance and changing your physical appearance doesn't fix any underlying self-esteem issues that you might have and or mental health issues and the only way to really get to those is not physical and and it may be hard to realize that when you feel like addressing the physical will help which can lead to so much more issues and you know I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it it's okay to want to feel good and it's okay to do things to feel good but it's also good to be informed about your decisions and understand everything but regardless of that whether somebody chooses to have any work done is ultimately their choice and their decision and it's only theirs to make and not ours to comment on even though i just commented on it but you know what i mean you're beautiful Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other.